Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cheyenne, and I upload videos about beauty, fashion, and my lifestyle. If you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Welcome to another video. For today's video idea, I was circling around the internet web on YouTube, and I've been seeing this trend of people trying uh, I guess like low rated services, whether it be beauty or whether it be food or whether it be like hospitality stays. Um, so people have been going around and trying out these low rated, I guess like services and kind of like giving their personal review of whether or not it's worth it or if it's actually not as bad as people make it out to be. So recently I've been shopping a lot online and I recently was on Urban Outfitters. And I was looking through Urban Outfitters, just seeing what they had, because they just had a 50% off sale. And I've been looking through their jackets because I've been looking for a really nice trench coat for the spring um, season. And so I was scrolling through, scrolling through, and then I found this trench coat that looked really nice on the model. The picture looked really great. It was a vintage style coat and all really up my alley. But then when I looked at the reviews, people were saying that it was a very like terrible coat, terrible quality. So I was like, why not? It's on sale. Let me just try out the coat and see if it's actually as bad as people have rated it online. I already opened up the package. I got it yesterday. I just wanted to like check it out beforehand. I haven't taken it out, so you guys are gonna be seeing my actual raw, real response on my initial thoughts from the jacket. So taking it out of the package, it's like your typical Urban Outfitters packaging. It comes in a clear baggie like this. Looking at it, my initial, I guess, note that I've noticed is that it does not come with the belt. So online, they advertise the coat that it comes with this nice uh, belt to cinch the waist because the coat is an oversized fit. So they advertise the coat as coming with a belt to help cinch the waist, give it some shape so that you're not drowning in the coat. I'm only 5'4", so anything that goes past my knees anyways usually engulfs me, so I try to find something that has a belt so I can, you know, create a little shape, look cute, right? Uh, it doesn't come with the straps around the wrists so it came with like these little like I guess like belted straps around the wrist and it doesn't come with that either so this coat again it is a vintage coat I'm not entirely sure how the vintage line works with Urban Outfitters if it's actually manufacturers that they have worked with in partnership this brand is called Foxland so I don't know if they actually work with Foxland and Foxland gives them some merchandise and products and then they resell it on their website um, I don't know if the products are actually vintage if they're actually used I'm not entirely sure on how that process is done but it smells like it, it, it has been used like I've gotten it from a thrift store um, I would say that I would rate this coat out of 10 a 5 because I am a person that is very DIY, very crafty. So if I really wanted to, I could alter this coat and make it more to my style, to my shape. Um, I could add a belt here, there, fix some of the buttoning, some of the, the uh, lapels, some of the hooks, etc., to make it more my style. Would I recommend this coat? Um, I would say, again, if you are crafty, if you are very thrifty and DIY creative, I say get the coat. Get, go for the challenge and see if you can try to style this coat to your likings. If you're not so much that type of style, if you're a person where you like your product to be the way you see it online, then I would not recommend this coat. I don't understand truly why Urban Outfitters has this coat on their website. I Again, I don't really see the point because to me, it's false advertising. You're putting on the website this coat that's supposed to look this certain way, it's supposed to come with this certain attributes, materials, and then when it comes in the mail, it's completely different. I would say that it is a defect in their, um, I guess in their like inventory, etc. So if, if I was a in charge of the website or whatever of working with the Urban Outfitters team, I would probably take the coat off of the website, um, figure out why every single time it comes to their customers that it's defected in some sort of way, um, and then put it back on the website and, you know, resell it. 
So that's it for today's video. If you guys like these types of videos where I review products that I purchase online or in store because you know your girl likes to go shopping and you want to get my opinion before you make the purchase yourself, give this video a thumbs up so I can know for the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked what you saw today, please subscribe. Turn on that bell notification so that you guys know every single time that I upload. I will definitely be uploading a lot more now that I'm done with school and I have a lot more time to prioritize my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!